bought and sold and barters liberty for gold. For when election is not free, in vain we boast of liberty. Oh, sorry, <laughs> and he who sells his single right would sell his country if he might. Um, but for a five-year-old, I think. <laughs> like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what the word barters meant, so I said bar trees. <laughs> <laughs> bar trees. Bar trees. Yeah. Bar trees, liberty, for all my R's will fall when election is not free. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, also row, row your boat. Of and course. Make new friends, you know that one? But keep the No. Yeah, and horsey, horsey on your way. That's a good round. <laughs> so you did those sorts of rounds in your family? Yeah, yeah, lots of that. Oh, uh, that's fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and you said the guitar late. Fourteen. Fourteen. How did that happen? Um, just, I was to accompany myself. How'd uh, you get the guitar? Uh, my dad. He had a little, a little miniature guild, guild. Literally yeah. miniature. Well, no, three quarter size. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was nice that he checked that all the varnish off. Piece. It was very yes. like uh, resonant. Yeah. But you were 14. You could have played a full size guitar. Well, yeah. I mean, I do now yeah, almost, but I, I like the smaller ones because I'm mm -hmm. still relatively small. Yeah. Do, dreadnoughts are pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer smaller guitars too. Yeah, yeah. I had a D twenty eight and I found it hard to play. Yeah, I used to play a D twenty eight. It always amazed me how well Sean Coleman played hers. You know, it's mm -hmm. always incredible. Mhm. Mm She's pretty good. Yeah. She must have very strong hands. Yeah. Want to hear my song? Yes, very much so. Which one are you playing now? I'm gonna play "Stop by Any Time." Um, and this is one of the ones you played. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the song? Like, um... Yeah, sure. Uh, the, my parents, I was telling you about my parents, and they had a... Are you doing the retreat? At Twin Oaks, the community where yeah. I grew up, there's a retreat cabin. Yeah, a um, it's called the retreat cabin. You have to sign it out, and you can do it um, to kind of get away from, you know, the community, which is kind of people living on top of each other. So we went out there, I guess before they broke up, which would have been like, I would have been like just a few years old, and uh, and yeah. I was afraid of the whippoorwills, and my mom got stung on her butt with a wasp, oh, wow. by a wasp, <laughs> because of a wasp, and, uh, and then they, the fire pit caught fire outside, and it was kind of a disaster, but made for some good imagery. Mm. And then the oh, other little thing that I yeah, it is. Uh, associate this song with is the first time that my husband, Paul Carreri, went away to England. I was lonely and feeling uncool compared to him, and so uh, I wrote a song that had, like, a sort of a uh, keeping, keeping going. Keeping going. No. Yeah. What brought him to England? A guy named Rich Guy. <laughs> a guy named Rich Guy. But she didn't say a rich guy named Rich Guy. No, he's so not rich. But his name's Rich Guy. He has a little record label called Tin Angel Records. Oh, so your husband's a musician too. Yeah. Ah. Is he, is he an accomplished musician then? He's I. <laughs> guy. He's great. Yeah, he's really good. What does he do? He plays finger style guitar and he writes about uh I don't know. He's, he's, he's pretty good, you know. Half channeling country blues ghosts and half uh, art school sort of highfalutin. But then all was a very yeah, like had, uh, good, honest soul. Hmm. Ah, yeah, you mentioned that you talk a lot about ghosts with him. No, that was just me having a little attitude in my 
my new folk introduction. So there was no truth to that whatsoever? Of course it was true, but I just kind of wanted to mention him because I like mentioning him. And also, I like that he believes in things like ghosts, and so I'm always curious to talk to him about it because I, I don't have, I'm not as in tune with the, uh, the other planes as he is. Yeah. Mm. So, so it must be easy to spook you sometimes then. He must have fun spooking you occasionally. It's different than that. It's more of a creative kind of personal thing rather than an actual like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so it's more of a metaphysical thing maybe. I think so actually, yeah. Okay. It seems like he has a good time doing it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's in a sort of a sort of a standard form that it does on. All right. So you started playing guitar when you were 14, and did you did you studied music somewhere? No, I learned from a lot of different people, and I learned from learning like standards. That's where I, I learned this one from. I looked. Uh, I had an Antonio Carlos Jobim record, and I liked this one song called Felicidade. Uh, mm -hmm. So I stole the chords from that. Oh. Uh, by ear? Yeah, Pardon? By ear? No, um, by internet. Oh. Oh, Jonathan Burr. Clever. should probably just sit by ear. No? Better to be honest than these things. <laughs> nah. Anyway. So you, so you re kind of reconstructed the song? Yeah. No, it's just, you, it, the, the song goes, Oh, felicidade, como fuma que eu vente. And then I forget how it goes past there, but so those first few chords are in my song, but past then it's all different. Okay. It feels totally within the realm of uh, tradition borrowing, and, and I always talk about it. So. Okay. And the name of the song again is. Stop by anytime. All right, right. Stop by anytime. And when did you write it? Probably about three years ago. Okay, and it was while your husband was away. Okay, and you were feeling lonely. I'm not as special as him, you said. Less special than him. But who were you thinking of when you said to stop by any time? Was it your husband you were thinking of? Or was it a spiritual thing? Or? We were talking about the green grocery sandwich. Transients? No, if you know where... <laughs> All right. I always like that because my yeah. girlfriend was always uh, lived by the railroad tracks, and her crazy boyfriend was always trying to tell her that that she was that transients were going to come through. Her. No, it's more like I was trying to write a song that had a refrain that was sort of standardy, jazz standardy, and that felt like a good one. I think it was only just tinged with the lonely factor. I think it's more of a poetic song. Okay. All right. Cool. Enough said. Thank you. What key is it in? Um, it's in, uh, C sharp. Okay. It's capo, so C shape, C shape sharp. Stop by any time I've got the bookshelves loaded And the backyard's green and blooming <coughs> Stop by any time Let the humidity curl your hair And the mulberry stain your toes Wasp on a pillow on a hideaway bed A whippoorwill whistle to a spooked sea kid Dry leaves catching round the camp and fire pit Quicker than a ribbon lake 
If you could come around, I could take you.